Or we're the guys that made that song. What? <laughs> Jay arrives first, he's the first one here. And he gets in like what, 6 p.m.? Uh, something like that. Gets to the hotel and they ask him, when are you going to check out? And they give him this piece of paper that has dates written on it. So M's already set up the dates, so it shouldn't be a question of when am I checking out, it's whenever the guy set it up. It's already paid for it anyway, so it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to ask the, this, this customer who's part of a group that's already been pre-set up, when are you checking out? So he goes, oh, I don't know, um, it said the 4th to the 7th or something, he's like, uh, I he guess. He's kind of like picked a date at random. Yeah. He guessed. Like the 4th? And they're like, oh, okay. We can start changing it, okay? So then somehow they called each other or something because he found out about it. And, and I was pissed. Yeah, and was all like pissy about it. Yeah, and this but was already in the works before I even showed up, okay? So I finally get there at like 10.30 and get to the hotel. We had traffic in the get into there, so it was an expensive cab ride. Walk through the door and they're like, oh, hello, yeah, blah, blah. I'm like, here, I'm here with the group. My name is Justin, I'm on the list, give me my room key. And they go, okay, well, your friend has check is checking out on the 4th. <laughs> Are you also checking out on the 4th? So I'm thinking, and must have changed something. What, what do I know? And um, so I go, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, change, if it's changed, change it, you know? So they're like, okay, you know, happy, you know, yeah, we'll change it, no problem. Woo! They give me my room key. They have to show me how to, it's okay. how to, uh, it's hot. you know, get into the elevator and use the card key and stuff. So I get up to the room. Really humid in those hallways. You remember the first time? It's just like death in those hallways. So, boom, key in the door, red light. I'm like, okay, these keys are kind of thin. Do it a couple times. Red light, red light, red light. Boom, 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 Nothing. Doorbell. Boom, 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 boom. nothing. So I'm like, did this guy, my friend, leave and just like somehow lock the door? Or is he locked in there? Or well, maybe the key doesn't work. Okay, maybe the key doesn't work. All right, go downstairs. So I go downstairs, but I'm pissed off. So I walk up, and I just throw the key on the desk. Doesn't work. So now there's like three people that come up. I had one person at first, now I got three. And they're like, oh, okay, um, hmm. well, let's see here. Let's get, let's get this, and you go over there, get this little briefcase. So now I have three people coming up with me, and they're gonna try and re-key the door. Like, stick a machine in, and recalibrate the matrix or something. <laughs> And, um, you know my pants? No? Yeah? Okay, sit down. <sighs> so... <laughs> he can walk around, he's fine. And he's just trying to give him space. So... <laughs> so now, nothing's working. He, like, lightly knocks on the door, and so he's like, okay, we go back downstairs, and I will call the maid, to open the deadbolt, because there's a deadbolt underneath the door handle. And the door handle is electronically connected to the card readers. So now I'm just like livid. We freaking walk downstairs and I'm throwing my bags on the ground. I'm sitting on their desk. I don't even care at this point. I'm just like arms crossed, like you better fix this or I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so now we've got five people of revolving around me. People are trying to carry my bags, and I'm like, no. <laughs> in the freaking elevator, and it's all crowded in there, and I'm just fuming anger, so it's really hot. And I'm wearing a jacket, too, so I'm, like, sweating. We get into the hallway. The maids are in tow. They're, like, behind oh, you, you the mind. desk crew because they can't be bothered, like, to intermingle. Freaking get to the door. They're trying the key out again. We're getting nothing but red lights. And they had called the room. No answer. So finally, just boom, 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 boom. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we hear, I'm coming, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking asshole was asleep the whole time while people are calling, people are pounding, kicking, the doorbell ringing, <laughs> trying to re-key shit, making lots of noise, and he's just <laughs> passed out. So he, he opens the door, the lights 
kicks her off in there. And he's like, oh, what? Hello? And they're like, uh, hello. And and I'm just I'm just looking at him like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and so he, he sees the, the situation. He finds the non-Asian person. And he reaches out his hand in a genuine gesture of, like, you know, goodwill and let's let's meet. And so he goes, hey, man, what is your name? And I just say, get in the fucking room. I'm going to deal with you later. <laughs> And did you have? Did you guys have sex the first night, or was that the second? Second. Second. Never. Did. That was makeup. That was makeup sex. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the fun thing is, I kind of remember all like pounding and shit. No that. <laughs> <laughs> How could you not get out of bed for bed thing? <laughs> uh, at that point, I've been awake like freaking thirty-six hours. <laughs> this is cuter than the whole story. I'm trying to reach the coke. <laughs> He's just sitting there looking at it, concentrating. Do you want this? How about this? You want the Coke? What do you say? No. What do you say after that? Say Coke now, bitch. Coke now, bitch. Coke, please. <laughs> say Coke, please. <laughs> <laughs>